Hello everyone. This is Koray Koja. In this video, I am going to show you how to design a multiplayer uh, using uh, read-only memory. Um, okay. In this example, the circuit will multiply two two-bit numbers. I will represent the first two-bit number like this. Uh, least significant bit and most significant bit and I will represent the second two bit number as like this least significant bit and most significant bit after that um, the truth table uh, should be prepared like this you can see the zero multiply zero it uh, to zero. Oh, okay, why? By the way, um, I will represent the output as four bit number because because the max maximum value of two bit number is three. Um, you can see the maximum number of three. So uh, three multiplied three equals nine. So nine can be represent uh, using at least four bits. So the old bit uh, should be represented as 4 bit number. Okay. Truth table 0 0 multiply 0 0 multiply 1 0 0 0 multiply 0 you see 0 multiply 0 and here 1 multiply 1 equals to 1 uh, here 1 multiply 2 equals to 2 1 multiply 3 equals to 3 uh, so on so on and here 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9 ok the truth table is ready uh, after preparing the truth table we can draw uh, our circuit schematic <coughs> um, we need 4x8 read on the memory um, we have um, 16 statements in truth table and I can divide these statements uh, as 8 and 8 piece of this so I can use to read on the memory um, to to realize the 16 uh, statements okay uh, I will select the uh, the addresses of the read-only memories from decoder. Um, to select the storage cell, we will use um, 3x8 decoder. A, a supplied address uh, is decoded uh, you, uh, with these bits. So a supplied address is decoded with the activated decoder output selecting its corresponding storage cells. Um, this storage cells derives the outputs. So I will use uh, one multiplexer for each output. Uh, and I will select the control input of multiplayer multiplexer as X because X changes uh, only first time you see 0 0 0 then change to 1 and continues as a 1 so uh, I select X as control input and according to combinations of these bits uh, one address of uh, read on the memory is activated then uh, that address uh, passing through uh, multiplexer to the output so I will place these statements directly from truth table first for zero value of x of x I will consider uh, these eight statements so 
uh, I will place this uh, eighth output into my first read only memory. Um, if these combinations is zero zero zero, then zero uh, the address line number zero is activated. So I place the first output here. Then uh, if here change to uh, zero zero one zero zero one equals to one so uh, address one is activated so in this combination I will place this output to here uh, at zero zero one uh, 0 1 0 I will place this 0 1 1 I will place this uh, 1 0 0 I will place this and here 1 0 1 uh, I place this one uh, here 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 <sighs> Okay, I'm looking for this right here. That combination equals to six. So uh, the address number six is activated. So I place this output directly here. And then I will consider. Uh, by the way, the storage is connected like this here. It's zero, 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 and zero. Then I will consider uh, this part of the truth table, and the exactly same way can be applied uh, here again. So I will place these values here, and I will connect them to the one because this output uh, should be appear at the output when the x value is 1 ok thanks for watching if you like this video check out my youtube channel see you later